But Savara into Wildfire would be the dream. Oh, very nice hand. Wow. Man, if I got another Wildfire, I could coin into a... Oh, God! Hey, buddy, watch this. So this is a, an interesting take on Hero Power Mage we made. It's all about utilizing Commander Savara, a card I've really never played, in combination with Wildfire in hopes to get a ton of Wildfire buffs. So this won't always line up. We're not always going to have perfect scenarios because Savara gets the first three spells. They won't always be Wildfires, but on occasion they will. And we've also just got a lot of fun Battle Cry slash Hero Power synergies alongside that fun package. Uh, we need Savara. We need, like, Reckless Apprentice. <gasps> oh! Good God, dude. Good God, dude. Uh, let's actually Wildfire on one... Well, no, book on one... I don't need a ping on two usually, right? Because they're playing quest on one... Well, it doesn't matter. Just in case, I don't know. Should be fine. In case I get like a rune orb or something this turn. Oh, Apprentice is good though. Okay, might be a, might actually be a control. No, no quest on one. I'm, my brain melted for a second there. There's actually other, uh, there's other warriors. <laughs> Who knew? I want to get Wildfire. Okay. No wildfire. I mean, against a control warrior, I wonder if I hold for the wildfires here. Like, I could even maybe hold for a brand. You know, it depends on how threatening we sort of think they are, but I could really greed the Savara in this game, right? Anybody? Yeah, Runes is probably the most interesting. Uh, Shattering Blast is a little awkward for us to use. This is just kind of, I can play it whenever. And I don't mess up the Savara, thankfully, so. Um, just tip of this anytime. A little bit of value will be fine out of it. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I think I think we might just play super greedy this game. I, that does mean I kind of have to hold spells for a while if I want to do that. So we have to decide if it's worth it or not. It may not feel worth it. Depends on what, like how I can fill my mana and stuff. <clears throat> I could certainly play one spell like an Arcane Intellect and still have the other Wildfire, or you sometimes just hit the Wildfire, and that's that's dandy. Now that's gonna get way bigger. L yeah, let's just put the Intellect in. That's fine. I definitely need cards. That's all good. Polymorph. Oh, Bran Zola, dude. This game about to get spicy, dude. Now, remember, the Zola doesn't really work with Savara because when you Zola the Savara back to hand, it's reset. It doesn't have wildfires in it. But if I if I wanted to, I could keep the wildfires in hand for the Zola Commander Savara and like do a whole nother cycle after I get the wildfires. It's a 10 mana play. Is it worth waiting for it? I guess is the question, right? <laughs> um... It might be. It might be worth waiting for it. I just don't have a lot else to do. It's a little greedy, but it's warrior, right? It is warrior, so. The greed could be worth it in this particular matchup. I also have hand size restrictions too, though. I don't know, I think hand size is gonna make that too difficult, right guys? Even now, hand size is a little bit of a problem. Because I'm going to get six cards back from the brand Savara. It would be eight cards from brand Savara Zola. I think that's too greedy, right? That's just too greedy. There's just no way. I got to go this turn. Uh, my hand is still actually going to be too full. I think I'm going to lose a wildfire, right? I'm going to have four spots. Oh, I'm going to lose two wildfires, actually. Could try to dump the hand a little here, but man, it's it's not easy. I'm gonna also burn a card if I do that. What to do? Man, I don't love that, guys. I don't love that. Maybe I maybe I just weave in a reckless here. That doesn't really help me empty the hand much though. Savara Zola and save for the brand next time. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Cause I'll have the wildfires for sure. That'll still burn a card though, right? I'm gonna be a ten afterwards. 
but it does give me more shenanigan potential. Just don't know, man. There's a lot of good Zola targets is my thought, right? Do I want to risk burning a card? Yeah, I'll risk it. I don't care. It's fun. As long as it's not Mordresh I or Dawngrasp, right? I think I'm happy. Any other card I think I'm willing to burn here. Yeah, I think it's okay. So now the other Savara is going to have even more wildfires. Ugh. That needs to die. Unfortunately, Explosive Runes completely garbage here. That's sad. I mean, Apprentice here will be fine. Uh, Talon's okay. Yeah, Talon's okay. So I won't be able to deal with Onyxia quite yet. Is this worth a mass polymorph? Maybe. I don't know what else they're going to have. I don't know, though. Leaving 8 damage out is not the end of the world, I would argue, right? I think we can afford to leave 8 damage out here. I do kind of like putting the mass polymorph in the Savara, though. Uh, I think I want the wildfire on the first pull so that I'm more likely to get it back in hand if my hand is full, right? I don't know. That's perhaps a small optimization that may or may not matter. You, you might argue you want polymorph back, actually. but So now wildfire Savara, of course, will put more wildfires in the Savara again. Uh, Princess hopefully resolves this board or whatever. Definitely don't want too much chip damage. This deck might have Kazakasan, of course, which creates its own host of problems because I'm kind of taking a while to win here. So if I wait too long, Kazakasan could screw me, right? Treasures are hard to beat, of course, but I'm also just getting like a billion damage, so. Are we gonna brand Savara or is that too greedy again? Feel like it's a little too greedy again, right? What's my hand size gonna look like? Let's think about it. This always happens. I need to clear the board. Yeah, I think it's too greedy. I don't think I have enough hand size for that, guys. I mean, I can use brand with lots of other stuff, like an apprentice or whatever. Everybody's saying greed is good, but I'm worried I'm gonna run out of time. I, I think I'm gonna run out of time. I, I just think this is safer. Like, we've already greeted this a lot. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what numbers of wildfires are these? I've already gained four damage. I'm about to go up to gaining six. I think that's enough. <laughs> it's like, guys, come on. <laughs> I need more wildfires always. Be just, no matter what, it's always more wildfires. Okay. So now, like, Ping's face, of course, just present, like, crazy opportunity. Evoker, it's usually a two or three. That's not a lot, but good cards nonetheless. I like barriers. Need to actually play a barrier soon. I'm a little bit worried we're we're kind of dying a little bit. This could have like Galvangar burst damage or something, right? To screw me. Shield shatter to clear. That's fine. I don't really need these minions all that much. Am I pinging minions here, or am I just going face? I guess I gotta ping this minion. Ah, uh, maybe it's worth an apprentice actually. Kind of wanted to brand Apprentice. I guess I could. I'd miss a wildfire if I wanted a hero power though too. Probably just go barrier. And wildfires, that's five. Could play like an evoker and a babbling book. I do want to ping this though. I think barrier's always happening. Question is, is Apprentice happening? Maybe Apprentice ping and save one wildfire. I lose a little damage, but I gain the ping, which is a lot of damage back. I lose two damage to gain six, right? I lose Bran, but Bran has other good plays, right? Bran school teacher, Bran Mordrash. If we can What's stick that do? somehow, it's pretty impossible. Bran draw, Bran babbling book. I think it's fine. I mean, also, though, this, just ping is not terrible here. Just, like, ping, arcane intellect, babbling book, maybe. Whatever. Gonna be greedier. <laughs> it's time to be greedier again. Uh, yeah, it's a little better than babbling book here. Mordrash is already done, so that didn't matter from an order standpoint. Not going face when they have the, the free armor up it is actually a good excuse to, to extract a little more value, I suppose. So they go big, we've got more Dresh. Uh, also just, of course, more Dresh does a billion damage. Uh, Bran Reckless is also insane now, probably. Just hit for 14. <laughs> Seriously, oh my god. 
<laughs> I didn't realize it was so much. I'll go brand reckless here so I have the ba the babbling book as well, right? That's kind of a good excuse to to get that going. It's like a good curve fit. It, it excuses the brand a little more, of course. <laughs> dude, 14 <laughs> to face, dude, is so ridiculous. <laughs> That's so crazy. And then another 7 as well. Just a casual 21 damage here. <laughs> Just a casual 21 this turn. And then I have 17 more for Mordresh Ping. I think we're definitely kind of turning the corner here to go face, but... Is there any chance this brand survives? It's like... Zero, basically, but, you know, not impossible. Basically zero. <gasps> eat this. Oh, God, eat this. Oh, that's good, too. Yeah, perfect. Excellent. Uh, I guess the question is, do we wait on the Mordrush or not? Like, do I think I'm going to need to clear a board? Or do I just hit for 17 and, like, really put them on the back foot here? I think I just hit for 17. I don't think we're going to have any, like, real shenanigans with this or anything. Let's just keep the pressure going. And, uh, I mean, what would I kill? Like a Kazakasan? It's not really that important to kill, because if they just play Kazakasan. Yeah. Oh, they did play a Buckler, though, didn't they? No, they didn't. Oh, yeah, they did play a Buckler. Yeah, maybe we wait then. This might not be the turn because of Buckler. Mm, guess we take value in this case. Time runs out on me. I really know. This feels kind of bad again. Not my favorite turn, honestly. No way can save ship. Got a lot of ice barriers. <laughs> Just have a lot of ice barriers. Uh, okay. Yeah, this turn's a little weak, man. Uh, it's kind of the best we had if we're not committing to Mordrush, I guess, but... Yeah, a little weak. 10 plus 7 is 12, Regis. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where the 12 came from. Scissors. <laughs> I don't know how you got 12. But that's okay. You don't all have to be on the same page all the time. Yeah, I don't like these much. I don't know. This is flexible, but I have literally no spells for it right now. I guess Flame Strike's the best. Just play. Okay, so we're at 17 now. We're getting pretty close. The seven to face every turn. Dude, the zero power is so ridiculous, dude. It's, it's just a casual seven to face for two mana. It's practically a pyroblast, man. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, that's gonna stop a lethal here, right? I only have 20. Um. I think I'll just build a snow brute in that case, right? No need to force it just yet. Uh, snow brute hero power looks fine. They're gonna be frozen if that matters at all. Okay, so next turn we should be fine. They're gonna heal 15. We'll hit for 17, right? <laughs> dude, I love this so much. The <laughs> of the Archmage is plus 20 to your hero power. <laughs> I like the way you think. It's 20 wildfires. Oh, that's funny. That's actually very amusing. Okay, that won't matter at all, thankfully. Nelly coming in just a little too late. Yeah, it turns out even Control Warrior can't outlast a 7 damage uh, ping. It's pretty good. Time to gain a billion armor here? I don't think so. There might be another natural... Buckler. Oh, we actually never even saw a buckler, I guess. By all the gold. Yeah, sorry, man. I respect you playing Control Warrior, but we're still gonna take the win here. <laughs> Who could have guessed it? We win with a ping. All right, on, dude. Six wildfires is pretty good. Six wildfires is pretty dang good. Nice. We'll keep Savara early for sure. I think we'll dig for some wildfires here. Babbling book's good too, though. Make sure we get a good curve. But Savara into Wildfire would be the dream. Oh, very nice hand. Wow. I think I might even open with a Sorceress and play the Wildfire immediately just to maximize early tempo here. Man, if I got another Wildfire, I could coin into a... Oh, God! 
tasks won't stop shattering. I'm gonna play the turn three Savara. So I play these on two, coin Savara on three, and it's good to go. Oh my god, dude. Okay, dude, if I don't win this game, it would be so salty. It's like a death rattle rogue, though. I'm kind of spooked. Uh, hopefully my pings keep up, though, right? Oh, God. Okay, well, I'm not killing that for them, that's for sure. We'll go ahead and coin the Savara. Uh, next turn I have four mana, so I can just double wildfire ping. I don't need a coin yet. We'll probably save coin for like Dawn Grasp or something. I don't know yet, but whatever it is. I mean, the three five here even feels pretty good just as an on curve play, right? Like a three five on threes, not terrible. Uh, we could ping off one of the four fours, so that's good news. Might just kill the other one as well. I definitely don't want to activate their egg for them. So, oh, more trash already too. Wow. Okay. This is already five damage. Are you joking? Do I ever just go face for ten? Takes me a few turns to win. I don't. I don't think so. I'm. I think I might go face for five though. Make them make this trade right. But that's just too clean. I think. If uh, it's close, right? Because I can coin a Mordrush here and. Oh, okay. I get it. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Yeah, I I do see it. Yeah, that is one of the craziest openers in the game. Maybe more dresh early. I don't think it's Steam Hunter. We ever keep more dresh early. That's not the pick. Uh, we will definitely keep a wildfire early. We can keep a babbling book early. You asked for it. Okay. Barrier against Steam Hunter is pretty good. Oh, hey, this is Captain Amber from chat. Hello, Captain Amber. No need to wildfire just yet, so. Although, I say that, but there actually kind of is. Oh, no, not this again, dude, no. There is, because they play two health minions sometimes, like, uh, but I could always ping and trade. Unless they coin a hero power on their attacky guy. Their attacky guy, that's his official name. People hate Druid in chat, it seems. I get it. It's really hard to beat. <laughs> you need specific things to beat Druid. Seems like they're not super aggro -y. Seems like more of a shenanigan -y deck. I don't know how shenanigan -y, but at least a little. Wow. Coin need for greed already. Jeez, dude. Yeah, I don't think it feels right to wildfire just yet, because... I'm not really wanting to ping or anything. Let's just get the mana filled here. We'll play Evoker here. I wonder if I trade in the Drake Fire first to get a potential tin armor. Or would I rather just hit wildfires? Good question. Yeah, this feels more like a Stheno deck. Yeah, more shenanigan right? Wow, three mana I... Dawn Grasp, interesting. No way you can take the so fun. Two armor? Get out of here. Where is Mass Polymorph? I don't need it this game, so. Oh, big Demon Hunter stuff. Oh, Savara in hand. Interesting. Oh, man. Even Zola Savara. I guess that's actually not very good, though, in hindsight. <laughs> so, never mind. Scratch that. Not a great plan. Um, okay. Need more wildfires, by the way. I want to cast a spell. Okay. We don't mind putting a rune orb in the Savara. That's fine. We we just can't afford to be super greedy with the Savara. I think. Uh, yeah, gift is probably better. I need card draw. Ignites a little greedy. Let's take gift. I actually kind of want to avoid fire spells. I may have to play Volcano Bancy to activate the. Savara. Although, I don't know, at the same time, I might just play Gift, actually. I don't really need two off this. I guess I could play Zola and fix that problem. 
In fact, I could Zola the uh, deep water here and try to hit the wildfire again. Impressive. It's pretty. Ugh. Ugh. Excuse me? Excuse me? Now I need to hit a mass polymorph, dude. It's gross. Oh. 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 I have a little bit of a debate here now, though. Like, do I need another mass polymorph since they're a big deck? We know that their minions are going to be capped at six mana, right? So they can't be that big. For this combo to work, you need six mana or less minions. Because uh, seven mana will go to four and break Drek'thar, so... By the way, good job hitting Drek'thar and Vandar early, man. That's actually wild. I'm wondering if he has um, Abyssal to get both of these consistently. He didn't play it, but seems like it. Uh, yeah, let's not get too greedy here. I'm going to Mass Polymorph next turn. I just want to play the Savara for the Wildfire now. Getting extra stuff here is going to be fine. Just get the body here. This will hopefully be a recovery. I'm not going to attack or anything. Let's let him attack. Just get some good resources here. Like, I could have tried to greed the Polymorph into Savara, but I think that's just too much, too much delay. Also, Captain Amber high roll in here with a Diamond Drek'thar, by the way. <clears throat> okay. Oh, yeah, there it was. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, so you run Abyssal Depths to get both of these. And it's nice that it still works pretty well afterwards, too, huh? It's a little bonus. Yeah, I mean, this is certainly a mass poly, right? These things get better later. This is annoying. We could try to greed for one more turn, but I'm going to have pretty decent mass poly odds in the uh, Dawn Grasp as well. We've played one Rune Orb, so it's kind of a 50-50, I guess. I mean, is there any world where I just, like, Volcano Mancy these? No. Well, I don't know. Here's another two-minute minion. How much damage is out, right? 19? 19 is too much. I can't take 19. I could just, like, ping, and then it's 15. Nah, I'm just going to do it. I think if we get greedy, that's how we lose. Hopefully, we'll eventually catch up with, like, uh, Mordrush and stuff. I don't know what other, like, good threats are going to be there that are six mana or less, but it, it feels like two Sentinels and a Cairn are, are some of the most significant threats. Like death rattles and value. So can if I can stretch this out now. Volcano Mancy's good at cleaning up these one ones. We can certainly wildfire as well. Abyssal again, so there'll be another two drop here. Or maybe a three drop if you want. Yeah, Battlemaster's a good good thought. There, there could definitely be a Battlemaster. Because you got six mana as your as your breakpoint, so Battlemaster would be a good finisher, basically. I, I like that thought. Never played Volcano Mancy before. It was actually really sick there. That was cool. Oh, I should have wildfired first. Actually, this was a mistake. Because uh, I might might need that damage for more Dresh. That was a boo boo. I think we will be there anyway, but you never know. One damage could make the difference. I don't think I'm there yet, right? Whoa, Gangplank Diver. I wonder if that's going to lead into a Smite, since Smite is also six mana. That's pretty cool. Can I actually even play around that very well right now? Dongrass gets me... Oh, Barrier too, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we have to hope that Barrier's enough here. Don't have any way to get Taunts. I mean, what are we looking at? Six and six, it's 18, kind of. That should be fine. Should be totally fine. Let's just check this out then. It's kind of a bad arcane spell to put in the pool, but it, it's starting to feel like to me that, um, I don't know, maybe he's sort of near the end of his stuff. It, it's it's just feeling that way a little bit, like he's kind of drifting towards the end of his stuff. Not going to greed the Zola, I just want to draw stuff. This is good. Freezing face might uh, limit some damage output, I don't know. Wanted to hear for this turn anyway to make sure Mordrush is good to go soon. So this seems good for a couple reasons. I mean, I'm at 39. I'm not anticipating any, like, crazy 39 damage here. I, you expect, like, 18 with a smite and then, you know, maybe some other stuff. Who knows? But 39 seems a little, a little crazy. So this is a good flame strike. Probably just bury it again after unless there's a really spicy mech to hit, I guess. Oh, I guess I could ping first, actually. That's fine, too. Ping Flame Strike will 
almost always work. Might take some damage from a mecha shark, but that's no biggie. That's the sigil of summoning. We'll deal with that later. Okay. It's fine. All right. Feels like we've navigated, I think, most of the scary stuff here. Really cool deck, by the way. Really fun. I haven't really seen anybody do this yet. Something we talked about, I think, at release, but since then have not thought about it one time. Cool to see it in action. Yeah, just more of that's not really going to be enough, I don't think. Currently don't really have a good answer to this, but I'm certain we'll find one soon. Dawn Grasp theoretically has Flame Strike, but also a lot of Wildfires. Apprentice would be really good for this. Oh, man. I'm about to fatigue now. Uh, Talon into more dress seems pretty legit as well. Let's just defense up here and this is not what we stood get ready for more dress, right? <laughs> that should certainly secure the game. He's just running out of steam. The Shard and Sentinels would have given him an extra reload, but the Mass Poly handled that nicely. <clears throat> oh, Kurtris is a good little, uh, man, that's a lot of damage here, actually. That's scary. Makes sense to have a Kurtris, of course. Barrier here is good, but man, I'm a little spooked. I mean, I'm at like 18, I guess, or no, 16 maybe? That should be fine, right? I, I, I mean, he could be running more rush minions to enable this. Oh, actually, no, I'm even, oh God. Yeah, I'm at uh, 14, I think. I, I still go more dress though. Oh, actually, I could go Apprentice and still clear. Would that allow me to do anything with it? Maybe get like a, uh, I don't know, a school teacher in there or something with another ice barrier is a possibility. Although, I don't know, man, part of me just wants to uh, more dress so that I can like Zola in next turn. I, I think uh, I think that sets up pretty nicely. 14, I'm guessing, will be safe. Seems like the burst damage in this deck was from mostly Mr. Smite. If there's no minions to attack here... I think we'll be fine. Let's just try to end here. I am running low on cards. I need to top deck Bran. Well, I guess that's no, it's not one man or anything. I guess I maybe do this next turn actually, because I can't really play this dead anyway. Man, another four here is scary. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to go with Dongrass, I think, just to hedge some health. Five health is a big deal right now. Playing minions seems like a liability almost. Fatigue is gonna win soon as long as I. Stabilize, right? Gosh, Dongrasp leaves that a little out. Man. It's like, this is not going away. <laughs> oh, this usually gets me barrier, right? Is it always barrier, actually? I'm, like, nervous, though, guys. I, I'm, like, not that alive. Flame Strike would be cool, I think. Five, and then next turn, ten. It's not a lethal yet. Do I think I take more or less damage if I ping this, I guess is the question, right? I don't know. Multiple minions enables more hero powers, so I'd probably take way less leaving it up. Uh, I'm hoping to just, like, ping Varden uh, Reckless, <clears throat> and then ping them to death the turn after, right, with Rundorm is the plan but i'm i'm very nervous it's it's shockingly close i would love uh, another barrier somehow if i could find one okay that's slow but a lot of potential damage actually off hero power i beam oh well not not damage off hero power yet i should say i guess that always hits Wildfire, or actually Drakefire Amulet, but that's not really useful to me. Um, okay, actually, let's open with a Rune Orb here to see if I can find, like, something defensive, maybe. If not, we'll Varden. And, I don't know, we'll just... We'll just see. I think, like, an Ice Barrier is my number one choice. Yeah, that's perfect. Cool. Uh... 
Uh, explosive runes might matter, actually, yeah. So leaving this unfrozen is a little scary, but the barrier kind of negates it again, right? That's my thought. Okay, so I should have lethal next turn, because two fatigue puts them at nine, so just reckless hero power is, um... Man, it was actually almost lethal this turn, wasn't it? Jeez. Should have thought about that, maybe. Could I have pushed a lethal this turn? I guess I had any extra damage. Can't play... This is the same as a hero power, so... <gasps> I'm not dead, right? No way. Oh my god. Oh, he's under 15. No way. It's close though, dude. Wow. No way, right? There's not like two of those three damage things. Oh, Cornelius Rome is another six drop. Unreal. I love it. Respect the concede. Jeez, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Scary, dude. Scary game. That was a close one. Yeah, well played indeed, man. I like your deck. It's fun. Uh, okay, I like sources early. Wildfire is good to have. School teacher's been pretty close for us so far, so let's let's keep this. Early game, mid game, evoker's cool. Let's get that wildfire to zero and play it now. Helps me ping off their two health stuff, the attacky guy and the other attacky guy. And kill all the guys that attack. Yeah, that guy right there. That that's the one. Hmm. That's good. This will thing this though, so all good. Really investing in this feels like. Although it's not a bad play. Just lose coin, I guess, kind of. Uh, is this a turn three brand? Let's see what they develop here. Obviously, we might like ping better, but if they just like hero power pass, I think I would turn three brand. Uh, yeah, I can't really play Bran into two attack. That's a little too much. We'll just ping one of these off. That's fine. Snow Flurry worth it? Nah. Nah. What are the odds of us hitting Evoker into Polymorph? That'd be sick. Each scar, a foe vanquished. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that apprentice. Apprentice. Now. Prentice. Babbling idiot. Huh? Okay. So you're gonna hear power next turn's super awesome. This is still a little bit of a speed bump. We can go school teacher into uh the one drop next turn and still hero power, so this should give me a pretty good turn, I hope. Oh god, that's gross. Oh hit trade and then hit this once. Nice, okay. That was the best output for us, I think. Outcome for us, I think. So this will die to ping, but man, there's a lot going on here. On grasp. Ugh. That's gross. Hey, Martian Boo, thanks for the raid. Anybody? Man, I like actually first flame better. No, Barry is really good for Dawn Grasp, right? Yeah. We already have fire, so. Let's do that. Pick me, pick me. Still kill this off, which is important. Next turn, I'm looking a little, uh, I don't know, man. I guess we'll we'll try to evoke her ping, but there's a lot on board right now. This is scary. Where is Commander Savara, by the way, guys? Uh, <laughs> he played Cavaldi Raider, so the raid sound was confusing, I bet, yeah. I bet it was. Oh, you're right. This probably will not actually Don Grasp. You're right, it's off a of minion. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I forgot because we have them in our deck normally. I'm just kind of assuming. But yeah, it shouldn't. It, it won't. Because I didn't play it. The the Noggling played it. You're absolutely right. Savara, finally! Oh my god. I didn't think they'd actually show. I guess I need Mass Poly here. Just to get max healing. <sighs> Oof, we're just running out of time, though. Now Barrier Dawn Grasp is a thing, but... Yeah. It's just... Drek'thar makes this deck so insane. I think, guys, I think Drek'thar could maybe be nerfed. These Demon Hunter decks are just rolling over people with Drek'thar plays. I, I, I need Mass Polymorph just to deal with the board now. Getting murdered. I am, oh, please hit this, please. 
Oh god, they're just farming this. Okay, that helps. Still though, another 13 incoming. I'm dead. No way. Mordresh isn't ready yet. Apprentice is not enough. Rune door into like a Frost Nova maybe. Is Frost Nova even in the game, guys? Steals two. That's not gonna do it. <laughs> Blizzard would be nuts, but it's uh, I think it's too late, right? That's just too big. I can't even really save any life here. You wanna cast a spell? I wanna cast a spell. <gasps> oh! I just have to high roll it, right? I can't really ping because I could still. Well, let's see. If I ping and I hit the two worst, they hit me for ten. That's too much. If I Ice Barrier, that's 13. If I hit the two worst, they have 13. I just need to Ice Barrier and hit one of the good ones. Just hit one of the... The 9-6 in particular, really. Oh, God, tier rolls. Wow. Okay, so now Doggrass actually has a barrier in there. But I might want to have to Blizzard first. And I think Blizzard might often be better than Barrier. But now I have more dress rolls, too. Like, Mordresh becomes really insane. Glaive is fine. Blizzard here is good. Blizzard ping as well kills the Drek'thar, although I could set up to ping off the 10-6. Let's see what we draw first, I guess. Wildfire. What do you guys think? Ping here? For the next Blizzard, maybe? And just like so can kill this next turn because it's the bigger threat, right? It's just safer, isn't it? It's just safer, right? Job done. <sighs> yeah, what does she have, guys? She has... Can we maybe... <laughs> maybe do that another time? Uh... What does she have? I don't remember. What have you By Brand Shavara, guys, I don't have any mana. That's all my mana. I would only have two mana left. I think I'd be dead. I think we got a Dawn Grasp. Oh, no, we don't! You're actually joking. Am I alive if I just do this at six? Like, we know they have at least three. Any attacking minion would be there. But the problem is, if I play this and it doesn't hit Blizzard, I'm always dead, right? Because it's just Barrier or Blizzard, basically. I, it's just got to be more dressed. We just have to try. They did play like one coordinated strike already, so. Yeah. We have to try the more dress here. Next turn, Dongrass will feel a little safer, I think. Just the five armor alone is pretty important. Okay, that's not an attack. That's damage, but not actually... Do I go brand Dongrass here just to get... An extra chance at the at the um Yeah, I think so, right? The ping here on Puffer Fist is cool, but I can just kill the Puffer Fist. This gives me a better chance at, it doesn't double the armor. Is barrier in the Shivara? Maybe. But I get five armor off Dawn Grasp anyway. So I, I, it's kind of the same. All Savara next turn. This gives me the armor regardless. If I don't like freeze this or deal with this, I might, I might more dress it, but if I get the barrier, yeah, I got a barrier. Okay, I think I can just leave it alive. What is that hitting by the way? Oh, face. Oh. Interesting. Second barrier wasted. Wildfire is insane. Rune door. I mean, I can, I can leave that, right? I'm, at, I'm functionally at I think I'm okay. I mean, it gives him an extra attack here, but I'm actually at 15 if we think about it, right? Oh, I don't know. 15's not, like, immune to... <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm actually a little nervous now. Oh, seven. Oh, my God. It's actually really close. I'm not dead, though, right? It's only four plus nine is 13. And I have 15. Oh my god, it's closer than I would like to admit, though, honestly. It's 
way closer than I'd like to admit. <laughs> he top decked exactly the right card. Oh my god. Woo! That was too spooky for me. But we got there. I don't need to Savara, unfortunately. We just keep winning as a hero power mantra. 